Yo, 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 yo. What's good? Let's get that. Let's get that mic volume to a good spot. Oh, I'm gonna try a new mic configuration for the feedback stream later today. By the way. Um. Anyway, welcome to the welcome to the low key morning session because I never do like early mornings. I'm gonna talk really softly, as not to startle anyone. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's just because I did the old wake and bake, if you know what I'm saying. Woo! Uh, oh yeah, may the 4th be with you. That's, it's so hard to say that because it sounds like I'm just saying it with a lisp. Um, so it's, it just sounds so weird to say, but I like that we have a day of the year dedicated to Star Wars. Um. That's a good day. I brought the I brought my son's chicken walker in the studio. Um, I wish I could. Oh, let me go grab it. Actually, so we got this guy joining us. Yeah, we got a nice little chicken walker. Um, I had him sitting up on the. Oops, I'm gonna move that. Um, I had him sitting up on the speaker, so maybe I'll have him chill right here. There we go. I don't even think you guys can see that. Wait, let's do this. Oh, there we go. The chicken walker view. Um. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I got a. I got like. 40 minutes to work today, so, well, just for this session, because um, I got to get on a phone call at 10, but I wanted to just get after it until then, and looks like there's a couple of you, at least, watching, whoa, okay, this little chicken walker situation might get, it might get a little sketchy. So I should probably move the candle. Might be a good idea. Out of the way. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see here. Let's see what we got from yesterday. Oh, I was listening to this song in the car. Um, and just, I just thought it could use some like, I don't know, it could use some juice. The sub is a little bit weak. Um, I think the kick drum has got all that power. So I think we got to beef the sub up a little bit. Um, what would be the best way? Let's do, uh, let's just do Ableton Saturator <clears throat> for right now. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to like mess with this a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna do an audio effect track, and I'm gonna do like two chains. I'm gonna call this one like width. Um, I'm just gonna call this one one because it's like the main signal. Um, so let's see, I wanted to, I wanted to basically do some like stereo width slash like really short delay with, with that sound just to get it to sound a little bit better, a little more full and like kind of taking up a little more space. Uh, so first I want to do a little erosion. <laughs> Oh, alrighty, that 
sounds kind of nice. Um, I never use this, but wait, let's make sure. Yeah, I never use this EQ, but since we're not doing any like dynamic EQing, um, yeah, I'm just gonna bust it out. Let's see. So if you solo it, this is this is the layer we're adding. You can kind of go nuts with it too. See, it does a lot. Um, really, what it okay? This is the one. This is the one that takes the cake for making things sound wide. Instant width. That's like super wide. Uh, I kind of like that. Let's try Valhalla Vintage Verb. Oh, shout out to whoever's in the chat. What do we got here? Captain Wobble, Steady Bop, Ayahuasca. Talking about Ubby Dubby, making me reminisce. That was so fun. That was like the best ever. Um, tight ambience gate. What is a uh, Steady Bop? Do you find yourself using mid side EQ a lot? Um, uh, only when it's necessary. <clears throat> so if I'm doing stuff like this in the sound design process where I'm like getting it to be exactly how wide I want it to be, then I don't really ever need to touch it again. But, you know. Oh, that's kind of cool. Check that out. Let's see how it sounds with the song. Oh, these little wubs too. I don't know if I even want those in. Yo, that makes like all the difference with this song. Thickening up that wobble. Woo! There we go. Now it's fucking cooking. song wake and bake because that's what that's what i did today and then this happened and weed related vocal i mean unless you're talking about a herbalist that deals with like cinnamon and turmeric and stuff <laughs> oh shit earhead in the chat vintage verb is life I agree. Vintage verb is life. Uh, Valhalla delay is really sick too, but yeah, we don't need to talk about that. Um, I, w I was thinking about making some, making some little thing that leads into the drop. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Um, I want to do, okay. 
don't know why I'm hearing this in my head, but triplet. Yeah, I know. Something like this, like a high pass filter that's kind of doing like it's. That's kind of cool. I might just have like the end of this phrase right there instead. So maybe, maybe something like this. Okay, so maybe just that last note and it sounds more like an effect than an actual note. And then I want to create another return. Um, another delay. And then I want to put a little, let's do, let's do dub station. Just to keep it simple, old, old school sounding. Um, 100% dry wet, and then we're gonna do one of these, one of those, one of these, one of those. See what I'm saying? So let's figure out a good... Oh! Whoa, we're making some dub here. This is this is the product of me listening to um dub for like twenty plus years. Actually I never realized it, but I tried to trace back like what got me into dub music, like dub uh like reggae dub kind of stuff. And I think it was a Thievery Corporation album called The Richest Man in Babylon. You guys should definitely listen to that, too, if you haven't. Um, it's like, when did it come out? I'm kind of curious now. Um, let's see. Richest Man in Babylon. It came out, like, a little while ago. Oh, hold on. Thievery Corporation. Um, now I got it stuck in my head because I just said the name of the song. Oh my God, when is it? How do you know when something came out? Oh my God. Oh, here we go. Wikipedia. Oh, 2002. So yeah, that was a little while ago. Um, great album though. Got me into the the dub flavors um what's up lonnie the baxter is gonna be a big dub yeah big dub's gonna be tight i'm excited for these back-to-backs with mr mr t i didn't realize that he he would just be called mr t like if brock were a teacher they would call him mr t huh I gotta talk to him about that. Um, okay, so this is pretty cool. <laughs> but it could be cooler if we add outer space. Oh shit. Um, this is like, this is when things get spicy. It's when you have two delays stacked on top of each other. Whoa. Okay, and then on this, we'll like turn the dry wet down a little bit. Oh, so now this one we could turn to one. Well, let's see if, okay, this is dotted. Oh. 
That's a little too spaced out. We need a little bit more of a rhythm. Let's do one half. Just kidding. Quarter note. <laughs> Okay, now now we can like chill out a little bit on this automation. Um Oh, that's a good level. Okay, the other crucial thing is we need, oh, whoops. We need to EQ out that, uh, whatever low end is going on. See, there's a little bit. Um, another thing we could do is mid side business. So, this will be the mid. This will be the side. The side gets turned up. Maybe the mids get compressed. Does a little bit. So now, um, I, I'm kind of stoked about that. I'm kind of stoked about this new delay we got and I kind of want to see what it sounds like to send other stuff to it. So what if we turn that on? Oh god, we got to turn the sound of sending that to the return um i am gonna put a filter on it yo you know what i just thought about that would be a really cool thing for ableton is if you could <clears throat> if you could have so in your groups if you could have return tracks that are specific to each group so if i could have like return tracks that w were only applied to the base and were part of that so that i could like bounce it all together oh, i guess i could just route it all to one track never mind i'm just trying to maybe i should just get ableton 11. i bet all these things that i talk about are just doable in 11. Um, anyway, let's get this thing going. Okay, that was causing a little bit of an issue. Um, that also could get turned down, just that note. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so, uh, here's the other thing I want to do. I want to get the kick and sub dialed with each other. Oh, well, okay, there we go. That's what's going on. Oh my god, that makes the song sound a million times better. I didn't realize that the duck was not, like, getting a sidechain signal from anything. So, there's that. Ooh, I think I might have to play this this weekend. Oh, up, up, up. I know. I know what I wanted to do. I want to fix that vocal. I don't really like when it's all... You know, I, I don't like that fast, whatever, warped, double thing. Okay, that sounds cool. Big request, not to all herbalists. We're in triplets. We do not need to be. Um, make it like no. Nope. Ah, there. So I meant oh, you little fucker. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I can do this. Um, and then this will go down. Save. Drink water. Just had an idea. Um, these skanks, what if we just had them for the whole, what if we just had them the whole time on the whole drop? Just to see. Um, oh, you know what else we could be doing? We could be doing a little more endless smile type stuff with this. You know what I'm saying? Some of this. It's a little much, <laughs> it's a little much just bringing it in like that. But what if we did this? Um, no, what if we did this one? <laughs>
Hold on, just just bear with me here. And then let's see, get a filter on it. feeling that let's just leave it how it was oh shout out to poopy thanks for the like and subscribe what does this need this this drop needs like some kind of delay effect. What is this? Um I don't pull up. Okay. We're we're not gonna use that. So let's just use this track as like a um where we're gonna put the effect. Whatever we're using. I wonder if this Eni thing has any. No, not really. What I'm looking for. Um, let's see. Effects. Raga Jungle Essentials. I mean, that's a pretty classic one. So what I like to do with a lot of these, especially when they're at a certain tempo, is just get the first sound, the first part of it, and use that as like, you know, the basis of the sample. Um, I'll leave a little space right there so it doesn't, the kick drum doesn't interfere. So right there, obviously it's pretty dry, but the second you add this, watch this. Turn the stereo on, turn the sync on, eighth note. Uh, maybe we'll do faster. This could be a good candidate for the spring reverb too. Soft tube, spring reverb. Oh, Father Funk in the chat. What's up, dude? Hey, sorry I haven't hit you back. I've, my life's been absolute insanity in a good way. But just, you know, every second of every day is pretty much taken up by something. Okay, let's see. Um, wider. Uh, I'm not feeling the spring reverb. Actually, that spring reverb is like, I don't know, it's hard. It's only useful for certain things. Uh, let's mess with this. Let's go back to 16. 
Throw an EQ on there. Make sure it's not getting too crazy. I don't know, let's see. Oh, hydrate. Oh, okay, I'm not even like that happy with that sound, but it's okay. Let's just keep it. Um, let's go through the other effects. I'm kind of feeling the hey yo. Let's see. Also, not feeling that little break beat. Maybe this is where I play a melodic. Sounds cool pitched way up. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Heyo in the side chain channel too. Uh, oh that flute should probably go in there. M1 flute. Heyo and M1 flute should probably go in there. So let's cut those. Yo, my computer's like struggle bussing right now. Struggle, but oh fuck no. Uh, uh, duh. Okay. <laughs> Where did that heyo go? God damn, everything's like going moving so slow. Okay. So we're gonna cut those. We're just gonna go down here. Base, that's gonna just be called side chain. Um, Cause it's just a duck. Side chain, there we go. Hey -o. Whoa, that's like extreme side chaining. I don't know if I need all that. Let's just get a little bit going. Um, yeah, that's a little bit much. There we go. That's cool. You know what? No side chaining. 
Okay, um, I didn't realize how extreme the side chaining was to the bass. I guess that's kind of what gives it that rhythm, though. <laughs> That it gives it like a long pumping kind of feel. Oh, you know what? Should maybe go right there is just the full horn thing. So let's just bring that over. Okay. okay, so hear me out. We get rid of the flute. We just have that going. Oh, nice little rhythm going now. cool yeah i'm stoked on that let's listen to the drop again i mean i think it has a nice flow now this is like turning out to be a really cool song also it's funny that all my music is just turning into like dub slowly i have this vision of when i'm like in my 80s I'm just writing like extremely spaced out basically lee scratch perry kind of vibe i'm lee scratch perry is my spirit animal oh will i don't i don't even think you've heard this song yet had an idea um that spring reverb that's going on here where is it where is it it's probably down here yeah i'm gonna automate i'm gonna automate what should i automate the springs let's try that oh i already did let's do a little different Um, 
So we'll have this little section that we're automating. So then we're going to automate the tension, it looks like. Let's try this. What about the shake? I never really mess with that. Um, let's do it. Whoa. Okay, that works. It adds a ton of low end though, so I gotta put an EQ on here. It's kind of sick though. making dub music now okay let's turn the lock off oh this is sick i'm pumped about that Whew. it's like the music i've always wanted to make now it's happening i don't know why i was for some reason i've always been afraid that it would just make people fall asleep but i think it works I mean, it works really well on like big sound systems. Um, yeah, it is. It, I mean, it's always been like sound system music, you know? Oh, I love that. I gotta start messing with that more. Um, let's throw that over there. <laughs> Father Funk's talking about shredding trombone on a dubstep set. Yo, you need to, I need to introduce you to, to Mr. Full Swing, Chris, if you don't know him already. Actually, my brain just started racing and I started thinking of if I should hit him up to record some horns on this. This part I might want to just cut everything and let the horns fill it in. Um, get rid of all the drums. It's like a little bit too filtered or something. There we go. Here, we're gonna bring that one over. 
So that's going to go right there. Is that right? See where I'm going with it? I want to add that little. Uh, oh shit! I have to go. Actually, fuck! I have a phone call in like two minutes. <laughs> um, it's sorry to be so abrupt, but. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to bounce that. Um, all right. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, yeah, I'll be on here later, uh, 1 o'clock-ish, to do 19K demo feedback. Uh, send your tunes to 19ksounds at gmail.com. And, Will, it was great to see you in here. Um, I'm excited to catch up soon. I'll let you know when time permits. Cause shit's crazy. Uh, anyway, shout out to the parents out there, by the way, especially parents who have toddlers. Shit's wild. Um, that's what's taking up a lot of my time. But uh, it's cool though because my son's starting to skate. Like he's starting to, he sits on the board like on his. He like holds it with his hands and then has his knees on it and he pushes himself like that. And I taught him to like basically starts surfing on the skateboard. So he pushes himself like that as if he were paddling. And then he stands up on the board as it's going. And I got him doing that on the mini ramp now. And it's so sick. So that's been pretty fun. I'm not mad about spending a lot of time doing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, I'll see you guys a little bit later today. Uh, one o'clock-ish, might be like 1.30 for the feedback stream. Um, all right.